So, what's an inductor? Generally speaking, an inductor is a device that temporarily stores energy in the form of a magnetic field. So, what's an inductor? Generally speaking, an inductor is a device that temporarily stores energy in the form of a magnetic field. Inductors are usually just coils of wire, and one of the basic properties of electromagnetism is that when you have current flowing through a wire, you'll create a small magnetic field around it. Inductors are usually just coils of wire, and one of the basic properties of electromagnetism is that when you have current flowing through a wire, inductors are usually just coils of wire. And one of the basic properties of electromagnetism is that when you have current flowing through a wire, you'll create a small magnetic field around it. So if you coil up a lot of wire, you'll get a stronger magnetic field. So if you coil up a lot of wire, you'll get a stronger magnetic field. through the coil, a magnetic field starts to expand, then stabilizes, and then you've got some energy stored in the magnetic field. When current first starts to flow through the coil, a magnetic field starts to expand, then stabilizes, and then you've got some energy stored in the magnetic field. When current first starts to flow through the coil, a magnetic field starts to expand, then stabilizes, and then you've got some energy stored in the magnetic field. When current stops flowing, the magnetic field starts to collapse, and the magnetic energy gets turned back into electrical energy. So they're kind of like a temporary storage area. Store energy in the form of a static charge and resist sudden changes in voltage. Well, inductors are very similar. You know how capacitors store energy in the form of a static charge and resist sudden changes in voltage? You know how capacitors store energy in the form of a static charge and resist sudden changes in voltage? They store energy in the form of a magnetic field and resist sudden changes in current. To remember, the current in an inductor not instantly change. It always lags by a certain amount of time. Now let me give you an example. Normally when you connect a voltage source to a load resistor, the current will be given by Ohm's law. In this case, 10 volts divided by 20 ohms gives you half an amp. The current will be given by Ohm's law. Capacitors store energy in the form of a static charge and resist sudden changes in voltage? You know how capacitors store energy in the form of a static charge and resist sudden changes in voltage? You know how capacitors store energy in the form of a static charge and resist sudden changes in voltage? You could be using a 50% duty cycle square wave, so half the time you'll get 0.5 amps flowing, and half the time there'll be no current flow. Okay, so here's the 1 kilohertz input square wave, and here's the current waveform, also perfectly square. Now watch what happens when I add a 5 milli Henry inductor in series with the circuit. All of a sudden the square wave isn't so square anymore. There's a little bit of lag in the current, and this is because it takes a certain amount of time to store and release the energy in the inductor. Now let's try that again with a higher end frequency of 10 kilohertz. Now it's even more obvious that the inductor is impeding the sudden change in the current. This happens more and more as I raise the frequency of the input.
good power supply is used to smooth out voltage. Finally, inductors have almost no effect on DC. They're basically just pieces of wire with a resistance of a few milliohms. Alright, that's the basics of how an inductor works. Now, I've got a couple more videos with more info on them and some practical examples.